hello everyone uh, welcome to the next video in this series where uh, we are talking about how we can uh, simulate your five robot in gazebo and control uh, it using move it um, in the previous video we talked about how do we get the uh, robot working on RVs and um, now in this part uh, we'll first talk about how to create a custom world environment in gazebo so we perform two tasks here uh, we add a RGB module to the robot tool end and they create a custom world uh, environment for the robot to operate so um, in order to add a camera module, we will have to modify uh, the myur5urdf.zacro uh, file uh, which includes the new link and joint information related to the camera module. Uh, then gazebo related information is now put into a separate file called myur5gazebo. Um, so we no longer include them uh, here, we, uh, we included them in the separate file and call that file from this file and finally these changes can be seen by calling the launch file. Um, so this is the myur5.urdf.zacro file and uh, you can see uh, we have included these two files one is gazebo file another is a materials.zacro file that contains all the color information okay um, in the last video uh, you know uh, it was gray earlier so we change it to orange now so this can be defined uh, inside the materials but we have just mentioned it here uh, for for cl more clarity on this so this can very well go inside this sacro um, um, so we continue here so uh, this uh, up to this point it is the same uh, as it was in our previous video so here we create a new uh, sorry this one this one is a new one uh, where we create the camera joint uh, for which the parent link is um, wrist 3 and child link is camera link ok so you can change this x y z and uh, r p y for the camera one we need to play around these values and this is the camera link so it is important that we first create the camera link and then create the joint. So there is more information on the uh, you know, Gazer sensor plugin tutorial uh, for which the link is provided later. Uh, now this is the myur5.gazebo file. Uh, so this part we copied from our previous URDF and put it here and uh, this is the camera related information uh, that we put here and uh, this is the camera plugin that is uh, that we are going to use uh, to make use of this camera. Uh, so before we launch it you know the launch file uh, we uh, will discuss about how to create a custom world environment you know there are various ways so what we do here is that we use the building editor and create a house called house one stf model and you have model editor where you can create objects and then you know, put them together to create a custom house dot world file and uh, finally you call this new world file from the launch file so this is a snapshot of uh, 
building editor which you can get by calling going to edit and edit and build uh, building auditor option so it looks something like this you can you know, select wall window do door stairs etc so it's very easy just draw these straight lines like this and then if you right click on any one of these bars then you will get option to choose the texture for the walls etc and you can select the height width and so on so it's a very uh, easy one and as you build it it will appear something like this and uh, you know after that you can save it as a model name so mm, a folder is created for example if you go here and uh, home the building editor model is created and inside this uh, you have uh, these houses you know so there will be model.config file and there is a model.stf file so so this is where you can save within uh, different names and you can choose as you can see you can choose different colors and you can choose textures for different walls uh, once you have saved it you know it's, uh, you see it's in the building editor folder you can select each one of the house for example i want choose one and then i place it here so you can use the go to the insert tab in gazebo and then they will appear here and you can select each one of them and put it here uh, now you can populate the other uh, you know components in your environment like table uh, this is a bookshelf coffee table and so on and uh, more models are available at this gazebo same model and uh, you know once you start using them they will populate here and you can uh, reuse these models okay so once you do this you can save click on the file save as and create a custom world environment uh, now in the ur5 launch file earlier we uploaded the world uh, empty world environment and now this time we include this house to world here so for different houses you can just include this line okay and uh, this world file is saved inside the world uh, folder you know, my ur5 description world folder all right so your custom world file goes here uh, rest everything remains same nothing else changes in the uh, launch file so if you launch this one uh, you know if you type this command on this your terminal ros launch my ur5 underscore description and my ur5 dot launch uh, you will see something like this okay and uh, you can include some lights to have a better visibility so these are the web links that you can go through for more information in this regard uh, gazebo building editor, uh, gazebo model editor, gazebo sensor plugin, python move group interface. So we will see those things because these things we will use in the next uh, session. Alright, now we come to the part 3 of this uh, series where we will talk about how we will control the robot from a custom python program. So in the first video, if you remember here. we used uh, you know move it from rv's window so where we could specify the current pose and the goal pose and the robot moves there that we have seen so now we are going to uh, see how we can control from a, our own custom python program uh, so uh, for this we will create this um, file my ur5 bob group python dot launch inside uh, my ur5 move it config dot launch folder uh, slash launch folder 
uh, this file can be anywhere else but then you will have to create a separate um, catkin package and then you can put it there so in my case i am using the existing myur5 move it config folder that we created in the uh, session one uh, of this video uh, so then uh, we will create this move to python interface dot py this is our custom python file which will be used to control the uh, robot and it is inside the script folder inside the myur5 move it config package so once you create the python file it is important that you provide the uh, executable permission to this python file so now we'll have to run these three separate commands one to uh, the first one to launch the gazebo environment and second one uh, is to launch the rvis all right so this is the launch file that we created and third one is the python file uh, so it is beneficial to look into these files as well uh, that describes how uh, various components com come together uh, my ur5 move it config demo dot launch uh, my ur5 planning execution dot launch and my ur5 dot launch this we created these two are created when uh, we create the move it config package using the move it assistant setup assistant uh, application and uh, you know in is uh, in the beginning you can also run this move it commander command line pi interface uh, to control the robot from uh, the terminal all right um, and we'll see uh, you know some of this demo we'll see here again this uh, move it commander command line pi is created uh, by the move it setup assistant as mentioned here so uh, we create this file inside the launch folder okay and this is similar to the demo dot launch file which is already there in this move it config package created using setup assistant so we copy it and we create uh, this file um so some of the changes happen is that uh, uh, this remains same as in the demo dot launch okay um here you just see that it is uh, joint states is there uh, this is according to the uh, topic that we get from the ross topic list we'll see that um then we include this move group dot launch again this is created by the setup assistant we call it here and we'll make some changes in the uh, parameter value for example we comment this fake ex execution line all right and so uh, we, we call this move it rb is the launch file which is again created by the um, setup assistant all right so we'll see how it works our python uh, file uh, should have these components basically it it imports move it commander uh, move it messages geometry messages and from move it commander uh, we uh, import this post to list so the first is to initialize the move it commander and start the init node some name is given instance uh, shared a robot commander object um, 
instantiate a planning scene interface object and instantiate a move group commander object and group name is manipulator because this is the name we have specified in the setup assistant while creating the groups okay and uh, this goes into this folder script folder the location is here and further to the uh, do uh, further to that file uh, we create a display trajectory publisher okay uh, this is ross by publisher so this information is available uh, um, in the demo dot launch you know you can see the some of the files that we mentioned uh, and there is a tutorial on this key how to write this file we will go visit those tutorials and most of the information is taken from that side so uh, do not worry if you do not uh, understand from where it came from so we will go to those links. Uh, so these are standard things basically we get the end effector link here and uh, uh, we print the uh, group names and we get the current state uh, in the current state we and also get the current joint values we print them here the bottom and then uh, we take the joint uh, values from the user so user will specify a uh, desired goal location and then we g use this command move group go to the joint values so here uh, we are not solving the inverse kinematics just we are giving the uh, goals and it is going uh, there for example we specify the input we is ask these are the current joint values it shows then we ask the joint angles in the radians the user gives these inputs and once you do that uh, the robot will move to the uh, new position so we'll see how it works and if you run the ross run rqt graph you can see the relationship between various nodes uh, for example, you have this gazebo. Uh, gazebo makes uh, use of and this publishes these nodes, joint states, arm controller, arm controller, uh, follow joint trajectory, and action topics. And then this is used by the R which that we start. We'll see that one and this move group interacts with the this move group topics okay planning scene world you know project uh, tree execution event uh, robot state publisher okay there is a camera here that uh, will subscribe to will create another node here uh, to see how the image topics are being used all right uh, yeah this is the RVG topic that we create that is accessing the joint states by robot state publisher and so on. Uh, so we will see some of this. Uh, now this is another script file for reading the camera images. Again we will see a tutorial. Uh, we saw a tutorial on the website and then we took the content from there. So basically we are creating a subscriber topic. Uh, that subscribes to this particular topic and there is a callback functions that uh, reads these images converts into rgb and displays it for us okay and inside the main uh, function we just uh, create a node and we keep reading it through the callback function so this is how the environment looks like so we will see uh, on the terminal how it uh, all these things work. So we will see ROS launch source devil setup dot bash. So ROS launch 
my ur5 description my ur5 dot launch this is our first uh, program so uh, we some include some lights for better visibility okay so this is a custom mold environment that we built okay you can see uh, there is a camera here at the bottom which is a white block and we'll try to control this robot from our python program now let's open another terminal so if we do a raw topic list so you you have this con arm controller command which we'll use to give the command to the robot all right then you have the joint states to get the current state of the joint and these are camera related topics that will subscribe to access the uh, images all right now uh, we'll first see I'm just opening this link so that you know or you can know where to look for more information. So this tutorial talks about how to use the move it commander uh, from the terminal. All right. So we'll just type this one. Uh, so if I type uh, source devil setup dot bash. Uh, already the uh, the dem uh, this uh, gazebo is running so we just have to run this uh, line so ross run move it commander and move it commander command line dot pi Okay, so before that probably I will have to launch the uh, planning environment which is specified so we will have to run this um, my ur5 planning com uh, execution dot launch okay you, we can also run this demo dot launch uh, so we'll directly just see instead of demo we are running the actual one we'll see if there is a problem then we'll go back to this one and we'll run this my ur5 
ROS launch myur5 move it config myur5 planning execution dot launch okay the moment uh, it launches you see it uh, ends in a, a terminal okay so it's saying the robot uh, model is loaded and things like that now if we go back to the tutorial so um, use we say manipulator that is our group name I hope I am doing it correctly yeah you don't have to give the codes you just have to type manipulator and so if you type current it shows you all the information related to this one these are the joint values current joint values okay uh, tool RPY is this position orientation is given um, so what we do is that we copy this value to a uh, variable called C okay so current is so oh, uh, rec C the current state is stored in C current joint values are stored in C now we say goal is equal to C that means we assign the values of C to goal and um, then what we do is the mo modify goal uh, the second joint let's say um, okay the first one we change it to 1.5 okay so the base link we give a rotation of around 90 degrees and now we say go goal so before we run it we minimize this window so a better view of the environment and l uh, let us see what happens and also we can show the RVs window mm. so we can see both of them together why it is why it cannot uh, anyway something is not right nevertheless just let it be on the top now if I give the goal command as you can see uh, both the robot in gazebo as well as uh, in the move it it moves all right so that means our system is more or less uh, working so you can do more things with um, this move it commander which is there here I uh, you know you can uh, plan and probably uh, solve inverse kinematic things like that uh, so I am not going to use it here okay now our task is to execute the python script so for this now
so it says that we we'll have to run these three um, uh, commands so this one uh, we have already done it's running uh, so we'll run this move group python dot launch and then we'll go this one so source devil dot setup bash so I think we can uh, stop the previous one so th we were running this planning execution uh, that we are not going to do it anymore so what we'll do now instead we'll run config uh, my your five group move group python move group python dot launch okay so it uh, launches the all necessary uh, components required for uh, planning all right now on this one we uh, ross run my your five move it config then my your five there's a file name is there uh, move group python interface move group python interface so if i run it so before i do this let me minimize this window yeah now it is working put it on the top I hope that it is reflecting the uh, same position as that of the main uh, robot so now it is asking for to enter the joint angles so I can uh, let let me enter the joint angles one by one I want to go back to the first joint to zero second one I want 1.5 that means anti degree um, mm, third one is uh, let's say minus 1.1 1 .1. I do not know how it is going to so let me give 0 0 and 0 it says no motion plan found something we have missed So uh, the problem is probably the robot has already moved which is not getting reflected in the uh, RVs. So we will start everything from the beginning to make sure that everything is alright. Okay. So uh, we uh, launch the gazebo again. then we'll launch the uh, move group python dot launch uh, this launches the rbiz uh, and also it launches a move group component including the motion planner 
so we have rvs here so we make it very small put it at the top okay now we run the uh, python interface so if i do this all right so now i give 1.5 this is something is known to me rest are all zero so as you can see uh, the robot is moving and also in rvg it is saying that this is how the planning is happening let's say i run it again and and give a new um, joint angle values so the the first one is one so we keep it anyway 0.99 second one let's give one point i don't know if we positive or negative let's give me minus one point five zero zero and zero and zero oh it's a uh, negative so that is the reason why it was failed last time because we gave it a positive value here all right now it is mo moving from the uh, second to the third one all right and as new goals okay so mm, again you can run it So, but the planning took it to zero value. So, if I just put it now 1.5 now, the first angle now plus 1.5 and rest are zero. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it goes back to this one. Um, so, this is how it works. And all right so now the other one is ross run will uh, want to run turn on the camera as well so for this what we do is that just have to run the camera command so it says camera image read camera image okay ross move it my ur5 move it configs read camera image and so this is how my camera image looks like and uh, let me run this window which is here okay this is on top okay so i can i put it on this yeah and uh, my gazebo is here i let me make it little smaller oh, i can't make it smaller than this okay so if i open another terminal another uh, terminal so i run it draws run cd catkin source devil setup dot bash so whenever you uh, open a new terminal you should update your uh, ros path by running this command so now ros run 
uh, my your five move it uh, move group python interface now if i want to change the robot position again and see how the uh, video is changing so current is one and uh, second angle is zero so what i do is that i gave it uh, zero and next i gave it minus one and give everything else zero so robot is moving as the robot is moving i can see, we can see that uh, the camera image is also changing all right uh, so now we have access to the camera we have access to the joint so we can use this python program to build our custom controller so that uh, receives information from the camera and gives command to the jointing values so um, this is how the whole system works i just will quickly uh, uh, look at the location of various files before we end this session so we uh, turn uh, press control c for all on the all the windows yeah so, uh, so as we mentioned here so, um, cd catkin wst is our workspace and if we see a uh, raw cd my ur5 move it uh, first you see the my ur5 description so here uh, we have the launch files the modified launch file my ur5 dot launch all right and um, then uh, the this is where we have the our world environment so if we uh, check this ross add my 5 description my 5 dot launch and um, you can see that this is where i am including the new world file all right so now let us go to ross cd my 5 move it config so here I create uh, this folder scripts and inside the launch also I create a new file move group python interface dot launch so if you see move group python interface dot launch no this is not the file so my bar 5 so gvm my ur5 this is the file my ur5 move group launch yeah so this is similar to the demo dot launch so we just copied them and make sure that it points to the joint states so robot state publishers are mapped to this and um, then then we uh, call this move group launch that does all the planning stuff all right and it launches the rvs so for this he calls the move it rvs uh, launch file uh, fine now we'll go to go back and go to the scripts folder and here we define this move group python interface file okay these are the uh, this is how it looks like okay now uh, the information about how to uh, write uh, move on uh, this python interface is given here the uh, 
link is there so it tells you how do you write the code so this tells you how do we write the code how do you call the robot commander uh, call the interface and some get some basic information plan a joint goal you can also sol um, solve the inverse kinematics by providing this information all right gender trajectory and things like that uh, so you can go through this and uh, this this is this tells you how do you uh, include the camera into the gazebo environment so this is an example of how to um, include the camera module and activate the plugin for this uh, so yes uh, so so in this module we covered how we can control our uh, robot using our own python programs and create a custom mold environment so thank you for paying the attention